this is a little scary for me. I've never done this before. I talk to my phone all the time on Instagram, but for some reason, this is terrifying and that's why I'm doing it. In today's video, what I wanna talk about is personal barriers. So in our lives, every day we have these things that keep us from doing what we want to do. And I would say that most of the time, those barriers come from ourselves. In our society, so much of our worth is tied to success. If our self-worth is tied to success, it means that if we fail, we're not worth anything. This is the part that I wanna challenge because I think this is the barrier that we can break through. And if we take a second, let's just take a second, think about the thing that you want to do. What happens if you fail? Like what's the worst thing that could happen? Okay, yes, certainly. There are some situations where if you fail, uh, let's say your life is on the line. Those are things to take seriously. Certainly take that seriously. But I think that for most of us, it's like very small things that we're afraid of doing because we don't believe in ourselves. We're afraid of launching a blog or starting a YouTube channel, or we're afraid of applying to a new job, maybe applying to a job that's outside of our experience. Most often I would say we're afraid of sharing something that we've created with others. We're afraid of judgment, really. We're afraid that people that we love or even people we don't know at all are gonna think we suck. <laughs> a perfect, very small scale example of this is I'm afraid of cooking for people. I cook with my husband every single day. We make amazing, delicious meals, but when I have to cook for other people, I'm terrified. I'm like, what if they don't like it? But like, why wouldn't they like it? And it comes down to this, this thing of being judged by people. So we're, we would rather not do anything than potentially have a negative outcome. And this is something I talked to my therapist about. She had this like gold quote where she said to me, is being frozen better than fighting? You hear that and you're like, oh, no, being frozen is not better. That's bad. Um, but no, I really had to think about it because for me, there's a, a certainty, there's a safeness in being frozen. Whereas if I take action, there's this big uncertainty. I don't know what's going to happen. And you'll learn about me <laughs> that uh, control is very important for me. Um, and so to have a situation that's outside of my control doesn't feel safe and I, I will stray away at all costs from uncertain situations. And it's when you start to realize these things about yourself and you understand your own psychology of why you're not doing things, that's when you can start to break through. So this was really a breakthrough moment for me and it was literally six days ago. <laughs> so let's get back to that question. Um, what is so bad about failure? to figure that out, you need to figure out um, failure for you, what is it? For me, there's a very significant fear that people won't like what I create. And there are a lot of spaces where I feel very safe to be myself, but there's something about this new medium, this YouTube thing I'm doing, um, that's scary to me because I've never done it before and I have no idea where this is gonna go. I don't know what's going to happen. But what I've kind of figured out is that you can't please everyone. A lot of people try to appeal to like as many people as possible because that way you're less likely to have a person who thinks you suck. But if you think about it, there's, there's no way of pleasing everyone. So your best bet is to do the thing that you want to do in the way you want to do it, in a way that you believe in. Because if you can't please anyone, you may as well please yourself. That sounds sexual. And I'm telling you, it takes, it takes a certain type of strength to be proud of yourself regardless of what other people say. And um, I could talk about 
haters and how to deal with haters. Um, maybe I'll do that another time. But the point is that if you just if you just do what feels good for you, you don't need to give a shit about other people. I really believe that we all deserve to at least try, to at least try to go into a space that we're not comfortable with and, and create things. Um, apply for that job. Think of all of the lessons that you learn just going through the experience. And like I said, this is a pep talk. It's a pep talk for me too, right? Um, I'm making this YouTube video for all of these reasons. I'm trying to break through my own personal barriers. I'm trying to prove to myself that I can do the thing and it doesn't matter if I fail or if I succeed. You know what? If I fail as a YouTuber, it's because no one watched my videos. And if no one watched my videos, then... That's it for this video. Thank you for listening to me rant on. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm here for you because you guys are here for me and I appreciate that, so thank you. Did the thing.